Hello everyone and welcome to the next major tutorial here on Duct Tape Stuff. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make the popular uh, tuxedo wallet that I showed in my last collections video. Basically the tuxedo wallet is basically a stylized triangle wallet as you can see right here. So that's what we're going to be making in this tutorial. So stay tuned and we'll get started here. Oh, so your very first step, what you're going to do is cut out six strips of tape that are seven and a quarter inches long each. And you're going to take your first two, peel them up, and you're going to stick them together just like this, right on top of each other. Try not to get any air bubbles as usual. Just goes right on top. Take your third strip here. You're going to overlap by probably a little less than a quarter of an inch. You should make it with enough room right there. So that's your third strip. Flip it over here. Take your fourth strip. And we're going to cover up the rest of the sticky side and extend it a little bit on the bottom here. Just like that. So now we have a little bit of the sticky side showing over here. Now we're going to use our last two strips here. You're going to take your ruler and we're going to measure down to about five and a quarter inch. Quarter inches here, so five and a quarter. So we're going to leave that right there. Take your fifth strip here, bring it down to so that the end of this strip ends on five and a quarter inches, right about there, and stick that down. Flip the whole thing over, and now obviously you have your last strip, your sixth strip, and you're going to cover up the rest of the sticky side right here on the bottom, just like that. So that's your very first step. So you've used six strips of tape that are seven and a quarter inches long, and you've made a sheet of tape that is five and a quarter inches wide. So the next thing you're is going to do is make another sheet that is exactly the same like this. So take another six strips and apply them just the way I showed you so that you have two of these sheets. So do that now. All right, so after you've made your two sheets, what you're going to do is take your ruler, line it up here on the bottom on one of the sheets. You're going to make a mark right at three and three quarters inches, which is right here in the middle. And you're going to draw, using that point, you're going to draw two lines which connect this point here down to the center here. And then once again, from this point here to the top. So then, after you do that, you can just take your sheet here. And you can kind of see the lines on there. They're kind of faint because I did in pencil, but... Nevertheless, there are there. You're going to trim the, these sheets right on the lines so that you have a triangle left. Unfortunately, these pieces here are just really just uh, just extra pieces. To, unfortunately, there's really not much you can do with those, so it ends up just being extra. So there you go. There's your triangle. And what you're going to do is you can use this piece as your template for the next piece. So just line it up right here, and then you can easily, very easily just trace the lines right onto this piece and then cut it out exactly the same way. So do that now so that you have two of these triangle pieces. So once you have both of the triangles cut out, you're just going to make sure that they're exactly the same. It's very important to make sure that they are identical and line them up just on top of each other. Next thing you're going to do is cut out two strips of tape that are six and a half inches long. It's about roughly six and a half inches, which should be the length of each of the sides here. Bear in mind, not the top one here, just the two sides, because this side is longer than these two over down here. It's not a, a perfectly equal triangle. So, you're going to take your roughly six and a half inch strip here, turn the triangle to its side, and you're going to connect the two just like this. And it's going to overlap a little bit on the sides, but that's perfectly all right because once we flip it over and seal it down, we'll just trim off the rest. So you're just going to wrap it around and stick it down just like that. This will effectively um, cover up and connect the one side of the wallet here. So now you take your scissors and obviously you can see it's, it's, it's uh, overlapping on those two sides. You just take your scissors and you just trim over there so that you can get into there. Just like that. Take that little piece off. Okay, and we have obviously down here. This is the bottom of the wallet down here. And I'm just going to trim right along the edge here so that it looks like a per like, once again like a perfect triangle. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is do exactly the same thing with this six and a half inch strip, just on this side, and didn't do any trimming if you need to. 
So after you connect those two sides, that effectively creates the pocket, the main part of the wallet here. So you got one strip here, one strip here, then that connects it to, and obviously you're going to leave this part open. Next thing we're going to work on is the credit card holder, which goes right here. Because bear in mind, I do have a credit card holder on my other tuxedo wallet that I have. And the credit card basically, and you should have enough room to just have the credit card slip right there. It should not It should have plenty of room on the sides here, as well as on the top. So next thing we're going to do is just put a credit card holder right there in the center. All right, to make the card, credit card holder, remember that this is credit card holder is going to be up and down as opposed to our normal credit card holders, which are horizontal. So we're going to have to actually use four strips of tape. Now, these four strips of tape are three and a half inches long, which if you make a lot of credit card holders is just a little bit over a credit card's length. So we're going to stick the first two together, just right on top of each other, just like that. Take your third one, and as you're actually going to measure with the credit card here, you want to align the two, the two pieces you just stuck together so that's a little bit above the, credit, the card holder there and that'll give you enough room to slip it in once you make it here and then you want to apply it so that the bottom comes a little bit past the credit card holder there so you should be able to rest the credit card holder directly on top and it has some you know some of the some tape all the way around it so we just got to cover up the rest of the sticky side on this side over here with our fourth strip just like this just stick down just like that. And that's the actual credit card holder there. Next thing we're going to do is actually going to attach it onto the wallet here. And that'll be our last, or pretty much our last step. And there are a few little modifications that I'll show you. Okay, so we put the credit card holder down here, and it's a little hard to see, but I have it just resting just a little bit before the, uh, the billfold, which is going to be the billfold up there. The two points on the on bottom of the credit card holder here should still be within that triangle. So then what you're going to do is you're going to cut out, I, I cut out one strip, one three and a half inch strip and then cut it in half so that I have two pieces to work with instead of just wasting two strips. Basically I'm just going to cover up the, uh, the one side here of the credit card holder. That'll seal that side down. Then I'm going to take my second piece and obviously I'm going to come over to the other side here and this will seal the left side of the credit card holder down, just like that. Next thing I'm going to take one more piece, which will be the bottom part of the credit card holder here. Just line it up with the uh, with the credit card holder, and then just stick it down. And obviously, you're going to have a lot of things that are going to wrap around. You really have a choice here. But you basically just wrap around just like this, so that they form a perfect triangle again. Or you can just snip, snip them off. It's really up to you. I'm just going to fold them over here just like this. But it, like I said, it's really up to you. So there you have your credit card holder, which is right there. Now bear in mind, this isn't in the billfold, this is in a credit card holder, which is right attached to the billfold, which is right there. So now I'm going to show you a few little modifications of when you fold it, as well as coloring it. So that's going to be next. Alright, when it comes to folding, you definitely want to make sure you have the credit card in there, or some other thing that's exactly the shape of a credit card, because when you're folding, that'll give you a little bit of an an idea of how to fold and how even it's going to be when you fold it all together. So basically for this piece here, as you know on my other tuxedo wallet, I, this piece doesn't really serve any function because obviously it, it's sealed up here. This is where the credit card holder ends. So basically I just cut a little slit in the credit card holder here and then this point just tucks right into there and basically it doesn't move at all. So that's actually a little, slick, little slot cut in the credit card holder right there. So basically what you're going to do is for here you're going to take the right side or the left side depending on which one you want first and you want to make sure obviously the credit card holder isn't being bent that's why you put it in there so you know how much you're folding and you fold that side over and there you have your tuxedo wallet. Now there are a few ways that you can make sure that these two flaps stay closed. Uh, they're really going to fight you when you first start off just because there's a lot of tape here that's really going to try to bend itself back. Uh, you can cut a little slot over here and then slip this piece in which like just like you have down here you can also take a piece of velcro here and then a piece of velcro here and then just stick it closed just like that that would probably be the best method to keep it closed after a while but like I said put it over top of a heavy book like underneath a heavy book for a while and that'll really get give you an, uh, an advantage when you're trying to fold it or whatever you're trying to make sure that it stays closed if you want to make it black like the other tuxedo wallet that I have here, all you do is just take some black duct tape, and then you just, you know, stick it on here, trim the edges, and then you'll have your uh, your your tuxedo wallet. So that's how to make a duct tape tuxedo wallet, or basically a modified triangle wallet. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this tutorial, and I will see you guys next time. So check out check out my channel if you want to, and um, check out some of my other videos. Take care. See you next time.